This is very chilling to think about. In 1981, during the Cold War, a man named Roger Fisher was worried that it was too easy for US presidents to launch nukes. Still the two-person rule. The launch requires authentication from multiple officials. So, the president's not doing it by himself. All they had to do was ask for a launch code and they would be given it, which he felt wasn't enough. Roger, a Harvard Law School professor, felt that presidents would always be too far away from the death and destruction that nukes would cause to understand the full weight of their own actions. As such, he came up with an extremely controversial decision that he felt could help close this distance. Okay, let's see in it. his own words, put that launch code number in a little capsule and then implant that capsule right next to the heart of a volunteer. The volunteer would carry with him a big heavy butcher knife as he accompanied the president. If ever the- Okay, this guy's clearly not an expert. <laughs> What? He wanted to fire nuclear weapons, the only way he could do so would be for him first with his own hands to kill one human being. Uh, there is so much wrong with this. Someone and realize what death is, what an innocent death is. So, nuclear launch protocols rely on redundancy, authentication, and predictability. This single point failure here, no. Blood on the White House carpet, it's reality brought home. But I mean, it's poetic, sure, but very high risk of operational failure, not to mention unacceptable security risks. That the Pentagon will later reject this proposal, claiming it could distort the president's judgment, making it so that he would never launch any nukes. And it's still less secure than requiring multiple people, so more risky than our current system. 